Yes, guys, welcome to Beth Brown YouTube channel. Remember to like my video, share my video, and those who haven't subscribed to Beth Brown video, please do so, guys. All right, and those who have subscribed that already, big up on yourself, respect, enough respect and honor, you know. Yeah, man, big up yourself every time, Miss Bev Production. Every time, big up. I respect you, Miss Bev. I respect you. Yeah, man, you're a good lady and a kind hearted person who are always looking out for your student and others who are in need. And doing a, you are doing an excellent job by doing your team, sending out barriers out in Jamaica here to feed the most unfortunate those who haven't have anything to eat or drink those who cannot help themselves you know who doesn't have any money in this pandemic god bless your you and your team miss bev production continue on the part that you're going and fire read and all of you big up on yourself every time yeah man i'm here talking about things sometimes we are going through depression and we are right beside our family members but they don't even know because depression was a terrible thing that was tearing me apart and I didn't even know at the time because when everything just hit me like a rock and I was wondering and you know pondering what really happening I couldn't deal with what was happening to me and I didn't know what was happening to me all I know when my daughter left for work, I was crying. When my granddaughter left for school, I was crying. I was, I was afraid to stay by myself in the days, which was very strange because normally I would love, I always like to be by myself when they are gone. After school, after work, I am so happy, peaceful, the place quiet and nice. I do what I have to do and bed and lie down. Because I used to work in the night, you know, so when I'm going to work in the days, I work in the night. But you know what happened, guys? With all what is happening to me, I just feel that it's because um, I didn't use to night work. And then I, I did um, almost nine months of night work. And I think that is the, that affect me because I work from six. No, I work from ten in the night to six in the morning. And when I reach home... I don't go um try to sleep. I cannot sleep in the days. So I will reach home, cool off, and bed. And then I find things in the house to do and around the yard and so on. And then it's time for me now. We, in the country, we cannot get transportation. So I early in, in the night. So what I do, I catch a 4 o'clock bus to go back in Montego Bay and stay at my sister until it reach. 9 9:30 I go to my work. You understand? So that I was losing a lot of night rest and my body didn't use to it. So everything just come down. Whoop. So it hit my nerves. Yeah. So it sent me in a very terrible, terrible depression. And if I didn't know God, guys, I, I don't know where I'd be now. Maybe I'd be on the street side, on the sidewalk or at Bellevue. Yes, that's my real life story. It's true, man. Because it hit me like a rock, guys. And I didn't know what was happening to me. I find myself crying a lot. Feeling afraid to stay in my, in the, my own house. When everybody's gone, I left out of the, ha the yard and gone to other people house to sit and talk what I never used to do. I don't leave my home or I'll pack my bag and I am half to my sister, half to my niece, half just as I reach, I spend two weeks and I have a reach home, I am gone. I'm up and down and around. I was wondering, my daughter called and said, why are you up and down like that? Why you can't stay at your house? And I'm saying, I don't know, but I just couldn't stay. I cannot face my own home. As I reach home, I have to, up, up and gone again depression is a terrible thing guys and still I didn't I didn't know that I was going through depression you know I was wondering what is happening but I don't know what is happening doctor said it's menopause but I was having the ad flashes so I was telling the doctor but I, I am going through my menopause already but he was saying to me it's changed in a different phase and this phase is not a good nice phase because this was the phase where them say if you know carefully to be mad you yes guys it hit me real hard that I hear voices talking in my in my brain, in my head.
telling me things to do to myself, but praise God. You know, when you know God for yourself, when I heard hear the talking in my head, I call out to Jesus. I say, help me, Jesus, help me. And I cry to Jesus. So you guys out there, many of you going through depression, loneliness, depression, and a lot of other stuff. Please don't give up. Bev Brown have been there, and Bev Brown still riding out her storm. It is not as bad as before as it was before. Praise God. I come a long, long way. I'm looking at myself and say, Bev Brown coming a long, long way. Guys, when this thing hit me and it really happened to me after two months, you don't like to see me. I was a fat, chubby person. And when I look at myself in the mirror, the tears come at my eyes. Yeah. I have to cry because I was saying, who is this person? I was looking my and at myself in the mirror and I was saying, who is this? I didn't recognize myself. I was skinny, skinny guy. I was maga. When I say maga, maga, my, my clothes them can't fit me anymore. They swagging, swagging. Everybody looking at me. And then that sent me in another depression because everybody looking, you know, when you fat and then you get slim, people they want them and I could have walked to her now and so on. So you understand? So all of them something they get to me head and then we then me look at myself, me say, I me this, me can't believe me afraid for me one self. Yeah man, me afraid for me one self. Me say, mm -mm. when I look in the mirror, me say, mm -mm. and some me also say, me say, oh God, then me start to cry. Yes, me start to cry and they depress myself more. None of the grandchildren them could not talk as they come near me. And me say, stop the noise, stop the noise. Everything disturbed me when they come near near me. And he say, stop it, stop it, don't say anything. Shut up, shut up, as some have to say to them, you know? And they understand and back off. Yes, me just want to be by myself. And me just squinch up in and me set the hook up, you know? And me say, mm -mm, I can't be this. I can't do this. And me say, what really happening? You understand? As then come and they say, Miss Brown, Castle, then come, Miss Brown. I say, don't, 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 no, no, no. I just don't want to hear no voice, no talking, just... Silent, silent. Yes, I read you. Just silent, you know. My daughter was saying, Mommy, what wrong? What wrong? What happened to you? And I said, I just don't want to hear any noise. No noise. No radio. No TV. No talking. Silent. That's where I reach. I did reach. That's the point I reach. And, you know, but thanks be to God, I continue praying. And my church family, them visited me and they prayed for me. Yes, and I continue going to the doctor. You know, different doctors. I go to the, the, the doctor, the amount of doctor where Bev Brown went to. Oh my God. So, all those who are going through depression, loneliness, and all kind of things, man, don't give up. Bev Brown was there and she's here now. Praise God. Putting on back some weight, not as skinny and as terrible as before. Thank God. So, guys, whatever you're facing and whatever you're going through, God is right there by your side. Don't give up. All those who are going through depression, stress, loneliness, don't give up. Just keep your faith and, 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 and put your trust in God and he will be there by your side. Just call out to him. When Bevron going through our motion, man, we say, help me, Jesus. Help me, Jesus. Yes, I always call out to Jesus and he is always there come running after me so don't give up guys and if you are lonely just pray to god and face your mirror talk with yourself that helped me a lot in all of my depression and my loneliness what i've been through and facing still facing although it isn't as bad as before but i still face the mirror and talk with myself up to today i do it i don't or you don't worry yourself everything is going to be okay don't worry, God is right by your side. Don't give up, you're not alone, you're not alone. Yes, man, and then I remember all my YouTube family. I can't call all your names, but I remember you all, guys. You know, big up on yourself, big up yourself, Miss Bev Production, every time, man. It encourages me a lot, thank you so much, and uplift me, yeah, man. Your words of encouragement, you, you could be a, um, you could be a, um, what if you say no? Counselor, yeah, that would fit you, you know, you know, to counsel words, your words meant a lot, deep, 
dig deep inside when you said not to feel sorry for myself. I look into it, I used to be feel sorry for myself. And you know, not to let what I'm going to hold me down. For, go, uh, try to climb above my problem. Yes, Miss Birth Production, thanks for your kind word of encouragement. Big up yourself every time, man. Respect. God bless you and your family. All right. Bev Brown, peace out. Peace out, my YouTube family. Remember to like my video, share my video. And those who haven't subscribed, please subscribe to Bev Brown video. Peace out. Bev Brown said that.